right, and thank you all for coming. I've been asked to give you a song, and I only know one or two. Mm, summertime, and the living is easy. The fish are jumping, and that cotton is high. Your daddy's rich, and your mama's good looking. So hush. The little baby, don't you cry. I think my whole jumbled up career, <laughs> mixed between art and culture, performing arts mainly, and now politics, there's sometimes a very thin dividing line between theatre and parliament. Um, <laughs> Longest running show in town, some of them say, and there's a certain amount of drama and passion and... Uh, that, that, that is required in both. I first entered into political life in the early 1990s, becoming New Zealand's first transsexual to be elected to a council. In 1995, um, I ran for the mayoralty of Carterton District and was elected um, mayor and re-elected in 1998 with a 90% majority. And then in 1999, I was um, approached by the New Zealand Labour Party to consider running as their candidate for the wider upper electorate. And doing so, and quite inadvertently and unexpectedly, I ended up becoming the world's first transsexual to ever be elected as a mayor and to have been elected to be a member of uh, any parliament anywhere in the world. Being a transsexual was completely irrelevant to me as far as um, heading into politics. It was about community. It was about uh, uh, participating my, in my democratic rights in this country. Nothing to do with being a transsexual having to be a sideshow <laughs> that followed me around. But the only reason why I was so open and honest and everybody knows everything there is to know about me is because why not? I'm not ashamed of who and what I am. And actually it was part of how I got out of the sex industry and all of that part of my life was by actually stopping from hiding who and what I was and trying to be something I was not <laughs> and being proud to be a transsexual. And once that had happened, then it really didn't bother me who knew. So if somebody in the street says to you, you're a queer or something, yes, I'm a transsexual. I assume nothing is an important piece of work. It's important to uh, have visibility. And in New Zealand context, and as a transgender person, um, I've been highly visible for many, many years now. Um, in the artistic world, usually performing arts, television, film, theatre. Um, so, but all aspect of art, whether it be literature, whether it be um, painting, uh, sculpting or whatever, and not necessarily about queer issues, just art that's made by queers. <laughs> <laughs>